Rapunzel, the gathering of the princesses. Once upon a time, when the autumn leaves fell down from the trees, the most powerful and vicious witches came together. Camilla, Xenia, Hella, and Vega. What am I, Decoration? Don't forget about me. And their vicious owl. They aimed to defeat every kind-hearted princess in the world and rule with evil and cruelty. On a beautiful day, Rapunzel was painting a picture of the watermelons in the castle's garden. Hmm. Those watermelons look so good, don't they, Clapsy? I bet they taste just as delicious. So Clapsy went into the garden to taste a piece of watermelon. When suddenly, the baby dragon, Drado, appeared in front of her. He scared her with his evil gaze. So poor Clapsy slipped and fell directly into a watermelon out of fear. <laughs> Clapsy! Her clumsiness made Rapunzel laugh, but Drado still didn't even give a smile to her. Look at that huge watermelon! What's going on over there? One of the watermelons Rapunzel was drawing became larger and larger until it was the size of a house. Rapunzel, Drado, and Clapsy couldn't believe what they saw. Did... did you see what just happened? Let's look inside. When Rapunzel and Clapsy went in, they saw a small room with walls decorated in various patterns of watermelon seeds. And also, a big glittering book. The Book of Princesses? There are other princesses besides you, Rapunzel? I guess so. Let's have a look at what's written inside. Whichever princess finds this book should read it with care, so you'll know which princesses live where. You'll never know when you need each other. Oh, other princesses? When all four princesses come together and unite, they will learn how powerful they are in a fight. Soon in the future, a new war will begin between princesses and witches, but who will win? By the time you finish reading, you won't have much time to seek all the friends you can find. Find Cinderella first and then get to the rest. And remember, my dear, kind hearts together are best. Rapunzel told Drado about what the book said and asked him to find Cinderella. <laughs> the baby dragon ah. took on this task and flew away in a hurry. <sighs> After some time, he arrived somewhere to meet the two mice called Mozzarella and Cheddar. He told them about Rapunzel's message and that the princesses had to meet under the lighthouse. <laughs> Mozzarella and Cheddar rushed to tell Cinderella, who immediately left to meet the other princesses. As she passed through the magic forest, she saw Freckled, who was picking blackberries. Hey, Freckled, tell Snow White that we need to meet up under the lighthouse. So Freckled went right away to tell Snow White. And when Snow White went off, she saw Seagull Ringo flying over her and called. Hey, Ringo! Ringo! You have to tell Mermaid Aria. All the princesses must gather under the lighthouse. So Seagull Ringo flew to the palace at the beach to tell the mermaid what he heard. But the mermaid wasn't in the palace. So Ringo stood at the pier and started to whistle. Dolphy, who heard Ringo whistle, showed up through the waves. Ringo asked Dolphy to swim directly to the little mermaid and tell her the news of Snow White. Then, 
Dolphy jumped into the water to swim to the underwater kingdom and told Arya what he heard. As soon as Arya understood what was going on, she quickly swam to the lighthouse on the sea's surface. When the mermaid arrived, her fishtail turned into human legs, and she quickly reached the place where the princesses had gathered. Hi, I'm Mermaid Arya, so you must be the other princesses? Arya, welcome! I'm Rapunzel. I'm Snow White. And my name is Cinderella. See, now we're all together. They talked until the sun took the place of the moon and told their stories to each other. At the end of the night, when the lighthouse lit up the sea, the princesses went into a forest area to discover their superpowers. It's time to show our power to the witches who want to spread evil around the world. That's right! We should get ready! Cinderella told the other princesses about her ability to speak with animals. Aha! So that means you can talk to my little dragon friend, Drado? A dragon? Wonderful! Wow! It's so cool! <laughs> Drado showed up. Hello, Drado. Can you speak my language? Yes! I'm glad to meet you. Wow! You really do talk to animals. So, what's your superpower, Mermaid Aria? I can make everything you see here move. The mermaid closed her eyes and put her hands together. With the scattered light around her, she lifted all the princesses into the air. The princesses were very impressed by this power. Arya took them off again. But Cinderella lost her balance and hurt her ankle. Ah, my ankle! My ankle hurts! Snow White touched Cinderella's ankle with both her hands. And with the heat in between her hands. This is brilliant, Snow White! My ankle is cured! I can stand up! And this is my superpower! With my hands, I can cure wounds! Finally, Rapunzel whispered some magic words to her hair and lifted them up to the sky. Her golden, shiny hair split into four parts. Each part bent down to a princess and spread like gold dust. Then, the parts became one again and formed a bridge that the princesses could cross. My superpower is that I have control over my hair. Wow, this is so cool! Snow White, Mermaid Aria, Cinderella, and Rapunzel felt that their powers together could defeat the evil witches. So on one side, there were four good-hearted princesses. On the other were the four evil witches who stood together. What about me? I'm standing here. And an evil owl. But remember, owl, in fairy tales, the good always wins over evil. <laughs>